Hutchings Crisis Respite really is here to provide a support for youth and their families to help give those families some more intensive but short support so that they can bring their kid back home and be more successful after their stay. The Crisis Respite Program is for kids ages 10 to 17 who have a mental health diagnosis and have experienced some kind of crisis from having difficulty at home with their siblings to problems with their parents or at school. We also take kids who aren't experiencing crisis and do some planned respite for families who do receive mental health services. Kids that come to the Crisis Respite have an opportunity to take a break and really have some time to just be a kid, to just kind of rest and relax and take a minute away from the things that are stressful at home. We also do some collaborative problem solving, so we work to help kids kind of learn skills through the collaborative problem sol solving process. All the staff are trained in the collaborative problem solving model. One of the things that we focus on here is really looking at kids' strengths and thinking about kids a little bit differently. We really work hard to help kids understand that they are not bad kids. They are kids who are presented with really difficult challenges. Sometimes kids with mental health problems just experience stress in a different way um, and they really need just like a break to hit that reset button and take some time away. I always explain it to people like sometimes their lives are living like inside a soda bottle with a cap on really tight that someone's shaken up, right, and it's all fizzy inside and um, coming here is kind of like taking the cap off and letting the bubbles out. It gives everybody a minute or two to kind of think more clearly and their bodies can calm down and we try to help parents understand that sometimes having emotional or mental health problems is sort of like having a learning disability. Kids that have difficulty reading or writing get extra support for those things in school, but sometimes we forget that kids need help with social and emotional things too. And one of the things that we do is really work to kind of target what those lagging skills are and then try to build them up while they're here. Our program is totally voluntary, so all the kids that come in need to agree to be here. When kids are given choices like that, they are often more successful in, in making changes in their own lives. They feel like they have a voice and they have a say, and that's really important. Once they're here, they help make decisions about where we're gonna go that day and the activities that we're gonna do. We have a recreation therapist. She provides all kinds of activities. So we do a lot of stuff out of the building and in the community. We partner with Paws of CNY and they bring dogs to visit the kids in our program. And the kids can pet them and hang out with them, ask questions. It gives them an opportunity to build empathy. They can learn things from caring for a dog or visiting with them while they're here um, about how to care. Most of the kids that come are, do go to school. We usually are able to get their busing set up for them within three days of their admission. So our policy is that they are always supervised. Overnight, we do 15 minute checks to their bedrooms. We have 24 hour staff. Oftentimes there are three to five staff in the program. We have two living room so the kids can spend some time in different areas of the program. We also have a visiting room. Every youth that comes in has an individual bedroom so they don't have to share their room so they get their own space. Uh, all of the doors are unlocked so they can come in and out of their rooms as much as they'd like. We worked really hard to make it home-like even though we're within the facility at Hutching so we did a lot of work to paint and choose colors that were uh, kind of calm and relaxing. We, all the bedrooms have different uh, comforters and they have furniture that they look like kind of little dorm rooms almost and the kids can personalize their rooms, they can hang up pictures. We also partner with Project Minus which is a national uh, not-for-profit organization. Volunteers make blankets for Project Minus for kids who are hospitalized or receiving health care services somewhere and Project Linus drops off blankets here so every kid that comes in gets to pick a warm fuzzy. Uh, the, the tags say, here's a hug or something like that. So the kids get to choose a blanket for their room and they will take that with them when they leave so they have a little comfort item. 
Anybody can refer a child to our program. We accept referrals from family members, uh, community providers like waiver, outpatient providers, family support services workers, the schools can send referrals. Uh, we also accept referrals from the emergency rooms. We do a lot of behind the scenes work with community providers and families. We make suggestions if they don't have things in place already. We will make connections for kids to outpatient services, so if they don't have mental health services in place, like a psychiatrist or a therapist, we will help them get connected to something that's local to them and easily accessible. I would like everyone to come and visit our program. I think that one of the things that we do is keep our doors open and we try to make ourselves a part of the community so that if people have questions, they can come and see it. Sometimes that answers all of the questions for the kids when they walk in the door and actually see the place.